Hi. Something occurred to me this morning about solution focus. And although you could argue that it's really quite a small point, you could argue that it's rather trivial. You could argue that probably it should have occurred to me before. But nonetheless, I ended up being really quite pleased with this small point. And what I was thinking about was the shift of significance in solution-focused sessions from the ending of the session to the beginning of a session, particularly in a first session. Chris, Harvey and I, uh, from Brief, we came across Solution Focus in 1987. And back in 1987, there was just one book that had been published on the approach, Keys to Solution and Brief Therapy, Steve DeShazer, still a really, really, really interesting read. And at that time, a great deal of the session was focused on the ending, on shaping a task or homework for the set for the client to take away with them and thinking about how we could frame that task and homework in a way that actually would allow it to make sense. We were interested, for example, in what sort of therapeutic relationship was this? You know, was it a customer type relationship or a complainant type relationship or a visitor type relationship. So we thought about the nature of the relationship and thinking about that gave us clues as to how to end the session. We thought about the question, were there exceptions or not? And if there were exceptions, were those exceptions deliberate or were they in some ways random? Change, it seemed to us, followed, followed on from what the client did in relation to the task or the homework that we gave at the end of the session. Now, of course, that idea has changed. And now it seems to us that change potentially perhaps results from the nature of the therapeutic conversation, the conversation during the session, rather than what clients do following a session as a result of a task. And of course, what that has meant is that the task, the ending of the session, the way we end the session, has for many practitioners faded away into rel relative insignificance. My colleague Chris Ison, for example, tends to finish a session by saying on 55 minutes or whenever, I'm all out of questions. Do you want to make another appointment? And that's it. Now, as it happens, my endings are a little more elaborate than that. But nowadays, I think Chris and I, both of us would agree that the most significant question is the first question we ever ask people in a, in a solution-focused uh, process. So what are your best hopes from our talking together? How will you know that this has been useful to you? Because it's the answer to that question, the very, very opening question that we ask, it's the answer to that question that actually shapes the conversation. It's the starting point for the conversation. And finding a, as it were, workable starting point, in my view, significantly determines how the conversation is going to go. You'll remember our friend Harry Corman in Sweden, who says, until you know what the client wants, you can have no questions to ask. And so in that sense, what you could see is 
that in solution focus, the weight of significance has shifted from the end of a first session to the beginning of a first session. But I hope you found that um, of some interest, um, perhaps uh, not quite so much interest as, um, as my delight with that thought this morning.